Okay, so today I want to introduce about the cucumber. Huh? This is called Japanese cucumber. In Malaysia, it is called uh, Timun Hizau, Japun. Huh? So you can see very long fruit is here. One fruit is here. This Japanese cucumber. It's a very green color. And there's the best quality is that they have huge number of spine. So this can protect them from the fruit fly. Huh? So I have so this is a very nice characteristics. And the objective is today to introduce with the female and male flower. So this is the male flower you can see. You can see this is the male and inside this is you, see, you can see the anther inside. So it's very nicely you can see the anther, anther carrying the pollen. And this is the monosia. So the characteristics of the monosia is male and female flower are different but in different location so you can see so many male flower is here so so many male flower inside from the bottom until up continuously they produce the male and this is on female flower you can see this is with the ovary so female always produce with the ovary yeah? so this is the ovary this is petal so inside the petal it's already closed, so I, I will show you another flower that is uh, just newly opened. So at the bottom there is another cucumber, very long. You can see. So this is one plant. So several female is already damaged. So maybe the lack of pollination. Sometimes I try to do manually, but frequently they are damaging. This is another plant. You can see the fruit setting. Just this is the one node, second node, third node. From every node, huh? this for another fruit, this is another fruit. So from every node continuously, they have produced the uh, female flower and already successfully they produce the fruit already. Okay, so here is about to bloom. Huh? This is on flower on female, maybe supposed to be bloom within uh, two or three days. This is another one you can hear, see here. This is the female. Huh? This is the ovary petals and inside. You can see the stigma so very nicely you can see the stigma three lobed stigma three lobed stigma this is the female so female is the characteristics always with ovary so there is another male here at the bottom have male the female so huge number of male and uh, the frequently flying the they have uh, some butterflies uh, some honeybee also so they are helping in pollination but better to do manually yeah? for the successful of the fruit setting so here you can see another female so you can see the ants ants inside the stigma this is female this is another female at the bottom this one so this is the female here this is the male and opposite this is the female again and here's the end the giant fruit is already here so by this way they are helping this another female you can see this is another female so this is the this is the ovary so it is ovary here ovary and this is the petals and the stigma here okay so it's in between this every nodes they are trying to produce female and sufficient number of male as well so compared to other cucumber i have seen this is japanese cucumber the fruit setting percentage is very high though sometimes I do the pollination so what you have to do the pollination so you have to pick up you have to collect the mail you have to collect the mail and have to do the pollination okay so it's a female so huge number of males so I'm collecting the mail from here and want to show you how to do the how to do the uh, cross pollination huh? because if I take the female from the same plant so we can see the uh, I mean uh, cell pollination but as they are bonosias so practically they are cross pollinated so in that case here is uh, the there is no good qualities of uh, the male so I want to collect the female from another plant so from here is another huge number of male is here so I want to collect from here so you can see there is one male, is another male, 
another male so many male is here so i want to collect one male flower from here this is one male so you can see so this is the male flower so no symptom of the ovary here eh? so this is so on for the successful pollination better to remove some of the pollen the petals eh? because very small anther inside so better to remove some pollens sorry the petals then do like that fold and go to the female so this is the female you can see this is the female so just have to touch on the stigma like that this is the cross pollination huh? okay so you have to collect so that the base have so many other uh, female flower so i want to show more okay so you can see this is the small honeybee stingless honeybee so they are helping in the pollination as well so i want to collect another one this is male so i am for the easy pollination i have to remove some petals and do and fold like this and bring care of the pollen eh? okay so at the bottom have several female hair eh? so here you can see one one female okay so this is stigma inside so just do like that this is the cross pollination eh? as they are by nature they are monoecious eh? so you, you can see so many male is here so they are helping in the pollination by the insect honeybee with different types of fly even the ants they are collecting the nectar and uh, indirectly helping in the pollination so this is the Japanese cucumber huh? Japanese cucumber and I have already show you how to do the cross pollination huh? so I have uh, four plant here so it's uh, the nice fruit setting so I have already show you the big fruit is already here another fruit is there there is a huge number of fruit I have already show you it's a very nice quality huh? the best quality is the spine with the fruit because uh, the the main enemy or main insect is the fruit fly so frequently they pinch over the skin and they lay the eggs and slowly slowly after a few days the uh, the, the, the from the leg the huge number of uh, caterpillar they, they usually grown and finally the the fruit is rotten so this is a big problem so in that case this japanese cucumber is a very nice quality eh? so when they are mature just by hand you can remove this spine it's not so uh, dangerous for the arm or for a house for what uh, problematic for the insect okay here we have another uh, what is called the uh, uh, bitter gold eh? so bitter is no on the female yet only the male so later uh, already uh, I will try to show some others from there so you can see this is the honeybee eh? this is the small honeybee stingless honeybee so you can this is the male so firstly they are visiting in male so from the male when they are collecting the nectar so they are also collecting the pollen as well with their legs the body parts and they will when they will visit to the female so the pollen will atta automatically attach with the stigma because the stigma is always the stigma is always is sticky okay so finish you can see okay so sh she is trying to visit another flower huh? okay you can see it's coming back hopefully he will coming back to another flower okay is uh, trying to find out flower more flower so you can see okay 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 so yeah you can see this is the female so he already visited the male first then coming to the female so this is the natural pollinator huh? so indirectly helping uh, a huge huh? without them actually so we cannot imagine how the monoecious they can produce the fruit Okay, so that's all from me about the pollination, cross pollination, and then the fruit, the flower introduction of the male and female of cucumber, especially the Japanese cucumber. 
इस जापानीज़ क्यूकम्बर